Who's the stupidest person you've ever met? This girl in my college chemistry lab who thought she could steal my research. We were lab partners for the semester, and I'd been working on this synthesis experiment for weeks. She barely showed up, always on her phone, letting me do everything while she flirted with guys at other lab stations. First week, she told me, I'm not really a science person, so you'll handle the nerdy stuff, right? I did all the research, documented every procedure, stayed late perfecting the formulas. She'd waltz in during the last 10 minutes, take a few selfies with the equipment, and leave. Her boyfriend would pick her up in his Mercedes right outside the chemistry building. Two weeks before finals, I started noticing her hovering around my workspace when I wasn't there. She wasn't subtle about it either. One time I came back and she was literally holding my notebook, photographing each page. When she saw me, she just laughed and said, just checking if you're doing this right. Then came the moment that proved just how dumb she really was. Two days before our final presentations, she comes up to me with this smug smile and goes, thanks for doing all the work. I'll take it from here. I'm like, what do you mean? She literally pulls out a USB drive and says, I copied all your notes last week. Professor Professor Hollister loves me. I wear low-cut tops to every class. I'll probably get an A when I present your project tomorrow. She actually said that out loud in front of other students. I just smiled and said, good luck with that. The night before presentations, she texted me at 11 p.m. Just so you know, I'm going first tomorrow. Hope you have a backup project ready, loser. Maybe next time don't partner with someone out of your league. I couldn't sleep that night, not from worry, but from pure excitement knowing what was about to happen. See, what she didn't know was that I'd figured out her little scheme weeks ago. I'd been keeping two sets of notes the entire time. The real ones locked safely in my dorm room and fake ones with completely wrong formulas that I left out specifically for her to steal. The fake formulas looked totally legit to someone who didn't understand chemistry. Next morning, she struts into class wearing a brand new designer lab coat she probably bought just for this presentation. She volunteers to go first, obviously. She's up there confidently explaining her groundbreaking experiment to the whole class, using all my research but with those deadly wrong formulas mixed in. She's gesturing dramatically, making eye contact with Professor Hollister, really selling the performance. Professor Hollister is not along, genuinely impressed by her apparent preparation. She's absolutely glowing, thinking she's pulled off the perfect crime. Then she gets to the actual synthesis procedure. She starts reading off the fake formulas I'd planted, confidently explaining how she'd mix compound A with compound B in a 3 to 1 ratio at 200 degrees Celsius, then add catalyst C while maintaining constant pressure. Professor Hollister's face changes instantly. His eyes go wide. He stops her mid-sentence and goes, wait, hold on. If you mix those chemicals, you'd blow up the entire lab and probably end everyone in it. Her face went completely completely white. You could literally see the exact moment she realized she had no idea what she was talking about. She tried to backtrack, stuttering something about typos in her notes, but Professor Hollister wasn't buying it for a second. He asked her to explain the basic theory behind the reaction. She just stood there frozen like a deer in headlights. Miss Thompson, did you actually do any of this work yourself? He asked. She looked directly at me with pure panic in her eyes, probably hoping I'd somehow save her from the disaster she'd created. I just shrugged and looked away. She failed the class on the spot.